everybody. This is Mrs. Lenko, and I am here today with Autumn. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Um, today was a big day for you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what happened today? I submitted my AP portfolio. It's it, I, it's so exciting. You have been working on these 15 pieces since September. Yes. And um, you just hit submit and sent it to AP Central today, which is a huge deal. And I think it's really important that we share with the universe, with whoever's listening, um, what your portfolio was about. So if you could just um, put it in your own words. Tell us what it's, what it's about. Okay. So we had to choose something that was very personal to us. And for me, I chose to explain uh, the pagan culture because I was raised as a pagan and nobody else I knew was a pagan and I didn't have really any kind of outside information about it, only what I've learned growing up. So my portfolio is basically just teaching others and showing it what it means for me to be a pagan and how I grew up and all my different beliefs. I, I think it's so great. I, I just want to go piece by piece and, and share some of these pieces because they're so important to see. So why don't you tell us what we're looking at here? Okay. So my first one is basically just me looking into the sun and it kind of captures how it captures what it feels like to have like the sun on your face because as a pagan you kind of like are connected to like one kind of god or goddess or deity that you feel you are drawn to and for me it's kind of like apollo so it's like symbolizing my connection to apollo i love that i love that this image is so striking that we used it over and over again on a lot of our um promotion materials for fine arts nights which is on thursday and um so some outside viewers may have already seen this keep going what else Okay, and then the one on the right, um, I originally just was doing a Photoshop, a photo shoot with myself, and I took a bunch of different images, and then I really liked this one, and I thought it would be good to, like, have another background image instead of just the plain grass there, so I layered on a picture of a waterfall behind it. It's so beautiful. Um, this one on the left, I just absolutely adore this altarpiece. Um, can you please share a little bit about this? The, the light and the setup of this is just gorgeous. Okay, so um, every pagan has their own altar and like they have different things on it that mean different things. So this is basically a neater version of mine. Uh, the only source of light in this are the two candles that I lit. And then, uh, yeah. I set up it how I want it to look and everything, make sure it looked all neat, and then I took a picture of it. It's it's great. That it's really hard to get a, a nice in focus picture with that much darkness. Um you really nailed the technology. Um let's look at this one. This one's great. This is interesting because you get to see some of the works in progress as well as the finished piece. So talk about this. Okay. So I had five different women holding each end of a pentagram and that's basically the symbol that we use for pagan and like it's basically seen in our everyday lives a pentagram so it's basic i was having them hold the six and i showed different angles like the front view the from above and then from below so i captured it from bun a bunch of different angles that's great you did a great job with that one too um Let's share these. These are two really interesting ones. I love this this one with the girl looking into the flame. So I kind of branched out from the pentagram, the five different elements, and this was just the first element of fire. I love that. And then here we have... And then this was the next element of water, and this one kind of went deeper to showcase like how water can be harmful and also used for tranquility. I, I love it. I love she lo She looks so peaceful on the left. Talk about this one a little bit. So this was to capture the element of spirit, and I did research on it. I read through a book that actually talked about photography and what was about showing spirits through our artwork. Awesome. And the pendulum piece? Yeah, the um, pendulum is a piece of stone that we usually use for guidance to guide us in the right direction. 
You've been guided, <laughs> guided to <laughs> submit your portfolio two days before it was due, which is just so amazing and so fabulous. Um, why don't you talk about these two pieces side by side? So I originally had the left one and I kept editing it to try to make it look right, but it never really looked right. So I decided to just redo it all together. And that is the piece on the right. And I was much more satisfied with that. Outcome. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. This whole smudging ceremony and the style of David Hockney. It's, it's great. It shows such great movement. Let's talk about these two. The one on the left I captured at my aunt's wedding for her hand fasting ceremony because she's also pagan. And then I decided it would be perfect for my portfolio because it was taken the summer before my portfolio. So I just thought it would be perfect to add in there. And then the one on the right um, is a fairy, one of the many fairy statues I have in my yard. And it's capturing the moon water. And I photoshopped a picture of the moon into the water to express moon water. That's so great. Talk about these two. So the one on the left, it's basically showing how it's not all these ideas that I'm, expre I'm expressing. It's not just what I've known growing up, but also things that I read about in books. So, yeah, it's basically just showing someone reading under the moon, which I do a lot. I love that. And so then <laughs> <laughs> it's so great on the right is kind of different from the rest. It's like showing a societal pressure put on me to like not show how pagan I am and show like uh, how different I am so yeah I love I, I think that that's so great I, I I feel like I learned so much about you this year um I've always known that you were a wonderful photographer and a very talented artist but it was really great to see you do these pieces that you're very passionate about that you're that are very personal to you um and it and I just love that you were able to finish this project and submit to AP Central today and then today's the day we just so happen to be talking about it um looking back on your four years at Woodland what's a piece of advice that you could give to younger students um if you think you're struggling or you think you're not doing so well and you just want to give up don't I would stick with it because my first year I was losing a lot of hope and I did not think I would stick with photography, but I ended up doing the next four years in photography and I absolutely love it. That's awesome. It's so great. It's so great. Um, where are you going next year? What are you doing? Um, I'm going to Arcadia University in Pennsylvania and I'm planning on majoring in photography. That's wonderful. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I, I want you to just keep in touch. Mm -hmm. um, send artwork because we love to see what kids are doing when they get to college. Um, but you are going to be steps and steps and steps ahead of a lot of your um, fellow classmates. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Um, you're going to have an amazing experience and it's going to be so beautiful and wonderful there. It's a, it's a great area to go to school. So I'm excited for you. And um, everybody else that's listening, um, we have Digital Fine Arts Night on Thursday night and we're going to post the link. I'll post the link in the comments to this YouTube page. And um, that's it. So thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.